Okay, today is, oh my, today is 9-11, 2012, and Kyle, and son, and Carlos, and actually Gustavo, helping bury, bury, helping bury the ditch where the water goes over to, oops, there's a dust storm. Ah, there's a fire hydrant in there somewhere. So, let's see. Here's Carlos. There's the water tank behind the stall. There's the buggy on. And I never did video the ditch that ran across the driveway to the fire hydrant. And there's the retaining wall. Tomorrow will be two weeks from when it was finished. But they started today, kind of backfilling it with the gravel, the rock. And then, I guess pretty much, they've done as much as they can with making the wide road wider, except they can't do it all the way at the top because he's going to wait till tomorrow. Hi! <laughs> okay, you can stop waving, Dan. I forget what the kid's name was. Oh, he's got the dirty job. That's like a compactor. And there's Cliff. Watching them bury the ditch behind me. That compactor thing smells funny. Look at that, they've already put dirt on top of all the gravel. Oh, I guess it runs on gasoline, that's what stinks. I guess they give the kids the dirty work. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that tractor might be sitting where? I don't know. Living room, office, who knows? Uh, oh, I guess we put this double to work, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, happy 9 11. Today's Tuesday. Ralph says that the house is coming a week from tomorrow. We shall see, said the blind man to his deaf friend. Wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> oh my. They were supposed to be here at nine o'clock. And I think it's about six or six fifteen or something like that. Yes, I do have a cold. Anyway, Mark called and he said, my house is coming down the road. So here I am. Okie dokie. Hold on. This little thing is a remote control tractor. This is the middle piece. Oh, 
off. That's a little remote control tractor. That's amazing. I guess he's just going to leave it there to get it out of the road. He's got to bring the big piece to him first. Michael, you get a big kick out of that little baby, huh? Okay, I think that's enough. Look at my dogs. They're not quite sure what's going on here. Well, Tank and Daisy, <laughs> they tore your house down. And now, they're bringing it back in a different form and a different state of life. Okay. The robot. Okie dokie, we're going down the road to uh, look. The other pieces are down here somewhere. We're going to find them. I think he said he's going to bring the rest of the other two in at 9 o'clock. I know this is kind of bumpy because I'm in the golf cart. All right, bye. There we are on the side of the hill. You know, hi. That guy said that he had him parked on, I'm sorry about my voice, that he had him parked on um, Hidden Valley Road. They're not down here. Maybe it was Mark saw him. I'm gonna get in a truck and go find him. He says they're just parked somewhere on the straight stretch of the road. Maybe we'll find out why. Well, there's the first piece. Pool table room. Poor Tommy, he called. He's going around the corner over there by Linda Fowler's and he said he almost got ran over by my house. Except, I think he said he's gonna wait until nine o'clock to bring in the other pieces. So, of Tank, Tank, he says, I don't know. God, I wish my voice wasn't so squeaky, but at least it's working now. And there's the midget. We have very confused little animals. Wait till the big parts come, you guys. Okay, there they are. Right in front of Mark's place. I get another side of the video of this. It's Look, I'm a bicyclist. And there's Mark's place. Okay. Okay, this is from the other side. Thanks for storing my houses, Mark. I don't know. Okay, that's the front of the house, I think. And that, that part right there is where the pool table room attaches. Yes. Okay. They're going to wait till after 9 o'clock to bring these two pieces in. James Taylor. Okay. I think that's the back of the house. Okay. Here comes the second piece. Oh my god. I got to go down there and see how they make that turn. That's crazy. I'm going to back it in, and I think Scott over there, there he is, is going to make some more dirt for him. I need to go down there. Well, here's the first big section, and it's like in the middle of the road. Sheriff and Gabby's husband just went by. I don't know what his name is. There's a little remote control robot. Side. 
I don't know, they're yelling at each other. They're all pretty big guys. I, I wonder if they're like brothers or something. It's the bosses. House is in a creek. Okay, made it across the creek. Sort of, kind of. I'm going on the other side. Oh my goodness, I'm getting out of the way. Oh, that's so glary looking. I don't know why. Maybe it'll come out better. Here it comes. Oops, septic tank. This is amazing. <laughs> it's on standby. Sure got that thing close to that brick wall. Here it comes. It's going in backwards. Gizmo. Whoops, I didn't put it on pause. Whoops, here comes Scott. Well, I think he was in the golf cart. But I think he probably thought it was getting a little too close for comfort. Wow, when they bring the second one in, it isn't going to be as easy, I don't think. Here we go. Here comes number two. Actually, this is number three. Going right next to number one. Here it comes. So the guy's going to put them pretty close together, but tomorrow, Paul, the guy's company that puts them together, Oh my goodness. Um, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. Uh, they're going to move them to where exactly where they want them. So they're moving again. And I thought I knew how to drive a horse trailer. 
I said, better be quiet. Get the sun coming in here from somewhere. There he comes. Line it up with the backside. I think this one's probably easier than the first one. I sure hope this video is coming out. Do you yell when you get too close to something? Ah, uh, that little remote control gizmo thing is pretty cool. in the golf cart over there. Went right past him and he just gave it a dirty look. Okay. This is enough for now, folks. Well, they got the big two pieces all put together and now they're cranking the little one together. I'm going to go up on the hill here and video it. These guys are great. So, I don't know why it's so light. I'm going to have to check that out. There's the back two pieces put together. And now, I guess we could call that the pool table room. Uh, hey, I never heard you guys yell so much at each other. I guess it's so they can hear each other. I'm whispering so they can't hear me. Oh, there's the retaining wall. But now there's a house next to it. I think they yell each other so they can hear each other. Because, my God. Well, he's not that far away. They're only doing the little one. Wow. Walk. I guess I don't need to walk. I can just zoom. It's not mating properly. It's higher. It is not PN, it is model. Except, I think they know what they're doing. Hi, I have a new house. Hey, my voice is better today. Oh, you know, I don't even know if I gave the date yesterday when the house came. It was, um, September 20th, 2012, and today is December 21st. What, 21st? Voice is better, but, no, I always thought today was the first day of fall, but I think it's tomorrow. In Maine, it's hot today. Went to Thousand Oaks, and it was 97 degrees. And it was 93 when I left the ranch, and it's humid. It's so sticky out. He must be the rough guy. They're kind of having a bit of a problem making the little piece fit on the end. so I could go inside. It's like almost put together. This is cool. 
He must be fixing the roof, because he's got roof pieces. Actually, I don't think he's fixing it. I think he's putting it over where to put the house together. That's what he's doing. Okay. Hey, Daisy, where are you going, babe? I think she knows that maybe they're putting her house back together. Somebody here? Go get them. It's getting kind of weird and hazy out. And it's very humid. I don't know why this is too much light in it. Okay, today is Wednesday. I think it's September 26th, and they got a different crew that was in here last week, and they are digging, and they're pretty much done. He just told me that they're going to put rebar in this. Whoops, there's a midget dog down there checking things out. Um... Oops, let me make sure I don't go over the cliff here. This trench goes all the way around the house. I'll go down on the other side. Hold on. Okay, so now I'm down on the bottom here, as you can see. And so the trench goes, wait, pop. So this is where I just was, up there. And it goes all the way around. That's where... There's a, where the water connects to the house. It goes all the way around over there. Okay. And then it goes through there. And one thing this camera doesn't do is very wide angle. You gotta be careful with all in the creek here. And then it comes around this way. And then it goes all the way down to the other end of the house. So here's the end, whoops, and then it goes, I can't see because I'm shooting into the sun, I think. Here's the septic line, and it goes all the way around there. So, what I think they're doing is, um, this stuff came from Home Depot today. Three pallets full of uh, cinder blocks, and bunch of cement that I think they use for the mortar between the um, cinder blocks and then whoops here comes big tanker a oh, tanky and a midget they thought I left I didn't leave you guys um, and then I think they're putting rebar in tomorrow and the guy just told me that he thinks that they'll have the rebar in tomorrow and that whoops I turned it off um that that it would be inspected on Friday because I guess they inspect the ditch and the rebar and then they put in the um, there's the septic tank um, they put in the um, maybe I should like talk to myself again like I done before there we go there we are okay hi whoops we can there we are where's tank oh we don't have tank shadow um so once they inspect the ditch and the rebar and say okay, then they put, just like I guess they built the brick wall, um, they put the cement block in, and then he was asking about a cement truck, and I guess they're going to fill it up like they did with the brick wall. I don't think this house is going anywhere. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm going to do the inside real quick. There's the kitchen. I'm standing at the front door. There's the dining room, and I'm going to walk past back this way. I don't know, and you were there. I hope I don't trip over anything. Um, that's my office, dining room, kitchen, my office. Then through that door is the bathroom, because it's supposed to be a bedroom. Other side is the second bedroom. That's the hall. And there's the front door that I just came in. 
over there. And then that little hole in the wall is supposed to be for my Ligi statue, but I think they made it too small. Then you come back this way. Ooh, this is scary. I'm walking backwards. Yeah. Then I'm in the kitchen. I'm walking. Ooh, don't trip on the drawers. All the time. Okay. That's sort of kind of the the pool table room, which I think I came to the conclusion that it's too small and I'm not going to use a pool table. Uh oh. Anyway, so uh, hallway again, front door. Okay, and as you can see, had them do a table just like the old one. Katrina and I ate lunch in here on Sunday, my first meal in my new house. And the refrigerator goes there in that empty spot. It's kind of weird, the desk thing there. Um, the sink, a dishwasher. Let's see if I can hold this up really high here. Um, there's the cooktop and the double ovens. And then that white door, I'll show you what that is. The white door is a pantry. It's kind of cool. I think you can put a lot of stuff in there. It's got all those shelves and then it comes around like that. I should zoom out of this thing. Now see, now it doesn't focus. There we go. Anyway, I'm now standing in front of the kitchen table. There's the hallway. There's the office with the double doors that are open. It leads into the bathroom. And then down the hall. And this is, yeah, it's zoomed out as far as it can go. There's another, I can't see it, another niche in the wall there. Okay, then to the right is, you can get into that bathroom right here. This is going to be kind of hard to do. There's the shower. And it's not focusing. Yeah, it is. And the sink. And the mirror. Hi! <laughs> okay. So, and then through this door is the second bedroom, which I guess we'll call a guest bedroom. And there's the closet. Okay. Back out to the hall. That's I'm walking out of the guest bathroom slash bedroom bathroom. And right here, I'll show you on the way out, there's like linens. You can keep linens and cabinets right here. So, I'm back in the hall. That's my bedroom. But before you get to my bedroom is the laundry room. I'm going to go like that. And it has cabinets up there. That's the heater. And then right there goes the washer and the dryer. And then there's a sink. Oh, there you go. Yes. Ouch, my arm's getting sore. In the hall, walking down the hall, that's the second bedroom. The bathroom's in there. Here's the second bedroom. Okay. It's not focusing, Mikey. Something's wrong with my camera. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting. Okay, so now I'm going to walk into my bedroom. Just past the laundry room. And right here, it's probably too dark. But there's a big closet and you can't see it. Okay. And then my bedroom is kind of tough to see. There we go. All the way around. Maybe if I stand in the bathroom door you can see it. And then the bathroom's through here. I need a different kind of lens to do this. Countertop. Light. And there's a there's a window over there, and there's a lot of dead space over here. And then the shower, the toilet, and then let me get further away here. 
in the bathroom is another closet, which I'll show you closer, and what they call a linen closet. I'm going to open the doors. Toilet. There's the linen closet. And there's the other closet. It's pretty good size. It kind of goes...